is a scene from one of my other favorite movies, Blade Runner. Um, this is Rutger Hauer playing Roy, who is a, a replicant, uh, essentially a very sophisticated, organic uh, robot um, created by humanity to serve as a soldier defending their colonies. Um, Roy is reaching the end of his very short pre-programmed life and he's confronting the fact that he is essentially just a creation of humanity to serve their ends without regard for his desires or needs. Um, and the poignancy of his death scene is really, it really comes from the contrast between that bitter truth that he's confronting and, and the fact that nevertheless he still feels deeply like his life has meaning and that for lack of a better word, he has a soul. And to me, this is poignant because that's essentially the position that we, as human beings, have found ourselves in over the last hundred years. That this is the bitter pill that science has offered us in response to our questions about what the meaning of it all is and where we came from. Turns out the answer is we're survival machines created by ancient replicators to serve their end of making as many copies of themselves as possible. Um, <laughs> And the you know, decision-making processes that are programmed into our brains are not optimized for our interests. They're optimized for this interest of our genes, of proliferating themselves. And to make matters even creepier, the genes don't care about us. They don't, they don't much care whether we stay healthy and safe after we finish making copies of them. And they don't care whether we're happy. Uh, in fact, it's to their advantage. Um, we're better at making copies of them when we're constantly on this thing called the hedonic treadmill where we want more and more things and yet once we get them, we're dissatisfied them, with them and we want more things. And our genes don't care about strangers on the other side of the world or about the distant future of humanity. But we care. We as individuals care. And that's why this project of... of figuring out how to install new processes in our brains that allow us to optimize for our goals and not for the goals of these ancient replicators, that's why that project is so important and so inspiring to me. And that's why it feels like, to me, a crucial step in this process towards self-determination as a species. This idea is beautifully expanded upon in, in the book The Robot's Rebellion by Keith Stanovich. Um, also a pioneer in the field of rationality and also on our board of advisors. And he has this wonderful quote, which I'll leave you with. If you don't want to be the captive of your genes, then you had better be rational. <laughs>